become a hairstylist and didn't okay let me catch y'all up real quick so a few weeks ago i posted this reel we're getting out the house today because we got business to take care of look i just had my fourth baby in the last five years and getting out of the house kid free is a privilege i no longer take for granted that's first off second off i could have taken this meeting on zoom but this mission was way too big for a screen see i don't know about you but i've been craving something more than just digital content when it comes to gaining insight on how to become a better version of myself like what happened to the days when you just sat in a hair salon and gained wisdom from the aunties and got up to speed by the young girlies anyway just dropping this here to say that since i'm craving it i'm making it stay tuned and obviously i was super cryptic about what we were actually meeting about that day well if you're new here i'm jade i used to be known for my curly hair and while we are still natural okay we're still natural i'm no longer married to my wash and go because child i got four kids under the age of five at home and so i set out on a journey to find my new look it actually turned out to be a good old roller set who would have thought so I thought if it works for me, it's probably gonna work for you. I, I brought their Olaplex, this, the this, this. I was like, well, okay. the only the only things I have full collection of is the Olaplex today. So I was okay. like, if we wanted to stay within one yeah. family, okay. we could do that. I also just got these from a brand. And then I brought a bunch of clips in case you needed clips. Okay, we got clips. Okay, got clips. And then these are the, the actual tension rollers. Okay. So if you want to look at those, these, but with these, oh, because these grips give it the tension. Yes, and that's why they're called tension rollers, and it gives it gives like. So we, we're having clipping with pins. Yeah, these, as I use the duck clips, uh, so they literally clip on just like that. So would you prefer us using these? I would prefer, but the only thing yeah. I'm worried about is that you won't be able to get enough for everybody. But if we order them. Um, we Child, I don't even trust them Amazon people really? because because those. I've never seen this even at the beauty supply store. No, that's what I'm saying. So that's why I'm like, I don't want to set a tone that people are going to get these rollers at these events if we can't secure the rollers beforehand. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like because the stylist that has these, she's based in Atlanta. If you, I've been sending so many people to these vendors. I don't know if there will be ten sets. Yeah. Or, you know what I mean? And really, truly, that's the thing. If you can over time get these and build up your 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 stock, yeah. and then transition, I think yeah. that would be smarter. And just using the um, magnetic rollers for now, because every oh, stylist that I see that's they're using the magnetic ones, I think for that very reason that oh, it's hard to source these. Really? So if you start running out, you can't just go get more. Get more. That's the issue. So I think like so these are the, when you send the link. These are the tension ones. Yes. I'm looking like this. Yes. Oh. But that's the thing. So the link that I sent you, yeah. the Amazon link, is not the one I use. That's a oh. new vendor that's just recently popped up on Amazon. Oh. I've ordered off Amazon before, but the one, the Amazon link that I used yeah. didn't even have the advertising correct. Oh. I thought I was getting more of these, and I got a bunch of these. Oh. Uh, so so I'd be there. mixing them. And I prefer mixing these two. Okay which it worked out perfectly, but you can also see like I have, they have these size too, hold on. And I got these off Amazon, but the the, <laughs> the vendor was very clear that it was gonna be these ones. Oh, like that size. Yes. Oh. So that's why I'm like, I don't want to like get you, you hooked like on those. Yeah. yeah. When you can't secure them for everybody. everybody. We're gonna need a lot. Yeah. Got you. You need, a, I mean, to be safe you'll probably need at least four sets yeah because if you what you would have probably what two or three people in rotation at yeah. one time yeah so having four, four, sets, four sets of what like full head rollers oh um, yes so it's probably like if, if that's only two and that comes in four that was what 32 yeah um is it, no no i only got two you only got 16. two packs. Okay, so you only yeah. have 16, period. Yes. Okay. So you told me to, we're going to use these ones. Yes. Okay. But. But then when we are doing it, we probably will need up past that 32. Yeah. We probably need like 100. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because yeah. I just don't know size. people say, I don't yeah. know people head size. Yeah. Because I feel like for me, I'll use most of these. Yeah. 
for my own head. Okay. So, yeah. And these are large. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And that's, I prefer them to be larger because okay. you get a straighter look okay, with them fine. being like that. Those ones are fine and they'll work. Yeah. But Should it be bigger than these? Yeah. Okay. I would get bigger ones. Um, these are one and one eighth. Yeah, so the, I think half. yeah, they're, I think you should do one and a half. Okay. Yeah, I think because these ones, I want to say the pink, these, uh, uh, what? Maybe one and a, one. No. One two five. Maybe because the one and a half that I saw was a little bit bigger than this. Yeah. Just a little bit. And see, that's the other thing. I don't know who what size these are. I couldn't. You know, we yeah. can't really build a business out of that when you can't like know for sure what you got. That makes sense. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah. So that makes sense. that's why I just want us to be a, like okay. aware of like, okay, if we want longevity, we need to be smart about okay. which roller we, we, Dude. yeah. Okay, cool. We definitely need a clarifying shampoo, okay. right? Yeah. So we start with the clarifying, but then do you want the clarifying to be the only shampoo or do you, how do you technically use yours? For Those me, I usually do a clarifying shampoo uh -huh. first and then a moisturizing shampoo okay. and then go into a deep treatment of some sort. A deep treatment. Okay. And then that's where they're going to the dryer. Yes. Okay. And then we pull them out. Okay. But here's, here's the thing though. And you tell me as a stylist, cause I don't know, cause I don't want it to take three hours for somebody to get their hair done if it doesn't need to. Yeah. So like, where can we skip steps? Not in a bad way, but in a, this is a, you know, a blueprint, a preliminary kind of situation. Yeah. If anything tops, because if you're doing your clarifying, the shampoo alone is 15 minutes. Yeah. Like no more than 15 minutes, yeah. right? So even doing the shampoo and, um, no, actually, yeah, the two shampoos, the yeah. conditioning is in the dryer. And that's what, 15 minutes, 10? Under the dryer? Yeah. Yeah, at least. Yeah. So if it's on high and it has the pro product in it, yeah. 10 is fine. Okay. And then, because you definitely need, you say you definitely need. You got to, that's the foundation. Skip that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Because yeah. When, a, when you do a press, we can't skip the deep conditioning because then it needs moisture so the hair is shiny and it has right. waves. Right, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. when you skip it and it's just the shampoo, yeah. it's so lightweight, it gets frizzy and all that right, stuff. Right, 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 so right. That's we fine. gotta do that. Okay, yeah. okay. Only, so we know whenever we get the actual, this is the products we're just using. Yeah, today but, we're just using them, but yes, yeah. We'll know exactly those two. Yeah, three. yeah. Okay. Because I would say my, my best guess would be whatever you would use for a silk press is what you would want to use before a roller set. Okay. So if that helps at all, when we're even when we're talking to the brand, like what are the products that you would choose before, like serious, like a silk press, and like that would be because you need the protein, you need the moisture, you need those things before the the roller set too. Yeah. So keeping that in mind, that when we talk to them, we need to make sure they have it, those yes, elements. two two shampoos and a deep conditioner that's going to have protein in it. Mm -hmm. um, considering like the process that we're gonna take. And then ideally for styling, we're only gonna use one lightweight leave-in that'll double up as a heat protectant. Okay. So yeah. some sort of spray. So like I said, like we could either use this one today. How's it gonna be with the hair wet? With the hair wet. Before yep. we uh, roll it. Yep, exactly. exactly. That or this. Yeah. Those would be my two options for leaving. Like cocktail these two. Co no, not cocktail. One or one or one the other, because you don't need a lot. Uh, you want the hair to be super so lightweight. lightweight. My, the most. How is this then? Is this a lightweight product? It's lightweight, and you and so, but you still don't need much. So, like uh, even for her, I would say probably a dime size. If you yeah, because her hair is very section. soft. That it's not. Thick. Yes. Right. 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 Yeah. It's still light. So that's going to be lightweight, but ideally. I would love if we had a spray leave-in conditioner that was also heat protectant. Mm. That's why I brought the, the spray heat protectant, the, the Living Proof Perfect yeah. Hair Day, because that's a super lightweight heat protectant that we could put on before the press out after the rollers. So press some, roller. right, so we're okay. gonna okay. leave in, water, roll it up, let it dry under the hooded so dryer. So our leave -in, we're, yep. with the water rolling yep. it. Yep. Which and you don't need a lot of. You don't need a lot of. And, and then the foam will be this one. You do cocktail these two. Yep. Okay. So you're going to use, that's going to be your foundation, like your leave-in moisturizer. Okay. Then you're going to do your foam. Now, we could also. Oh, you put the moisture all, all over, of, of course. And then 
each section you'll grab a mount of yep. this to roll it. 100%. Got you. Now this is where we can play because Being really, okay. really, this, I don't know how much, I don't know much about this product enough and you may be able to answer this. Mm -hmm. Is this moisturizing on, on its own? Moisturizing? Yes. Yes and no. Because it, I like it because it doesn't leave, it's sticky when you're playing with it, yes. but it doesn't leave the hair heavy. Exactly. Or crunchy. Exactly. Yeah. So even when you so put a- So moisture will come from this. From the deep treatment. The deep treatment okay. And then like your, your leave in. Yeah. So, so I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. So what I'm thinking is if we wanted to, we could just go straight from the deep conditioner to just the foam. Okay. We don't have to have the leave in. Yeah. But that's where I need your <laughs> professional I would say advice. Leave -in. Yeah. Yeah. Because once you take the conditioner off, Putting just a, you might just need a little bit of what you yeah. and just rub it all over the hair. Yes. And then the foam is what you're gonna use to Exactly, and things. lots of water. And lots of water. Yes, yeah, lots of water. Set it. Yeah, exactly. One thing I miss about my lips and curls days was actually connecting with y'all in real life. If you have been around since the curls over brunch era, like first off, sis, like, can you believe we're here? <laughs> but secondly, if you were even around in the era of natural hair events, period, you know and remember how amazing they used to be. Like, it was such a time. But they understand, like, we're both in a place where we're trying to be comfortable with ourselves and learn about ourselves and be ourselves naturally. So I think that's a beautiful thing and I want to promote that at every event that I do. So that is the reason for Curls Over Brunch. Um, in the future, Lipstick and Curls, we're just going to keep doing stuff like this. You know, I like this. I like the event thing. Um, and I'm going to continue doing that. So look forward to more events here in Dallas um, and in but um, of course I wanted to bring Curls Over Brunch to Dallas because it wouldn't feel right if I didn't do it at home. To get around other women who were also exploring this new version of themselves where they were embracing their natural hair texture and just getting around like-minded women and there was so much community and sisterhood and it was really, really beautiful. So recently, as I've been in my fourth postpartum era, I felt this tug to get back out there. And I feel like many of us are in the same place mentally, spiritually, and physically. Like we are trying to figure out what else we can do with our hair because we've been natural and wearing wash and goes for the last decade and we're kind of over it. <laughs> like there are some of us that still love to wear wash and go and believe me, when I, my hair is not in a roller set, I'm in a wash and go, but I want more freedom with my hair and I feel like many of us are feeling the same way. Like we want freedom when it comes to our hair. And with roller sets, you can really do that. You can really go from straight to sleek regularly. Cause I'm not gonna say straight, cause my hair ain't straight, okay? We still got a little curl, a little bounce, okay? And I'm also not looking for a silk press look. Cause for me, even my silk press feels flat and makes my hair look too straight, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like I still want texture, I still want body. I don't want my hair in a straightened state to feel like a totally different hair texture. And also like, I'm trying to avoid all that heat damage. So I made some calls. The three of us, my twin sister Simone and Rosemary of Rose Style Studios in Dallas, Texas, are putting our minds together to build something really beautiful in real time. I'm gonna be sharing some of the behind the scenes of this process and just the journey of us getting to our goal because honestly, like, it's a journey. And I feel like I don't wanna take this journey alone. Like, I wanna bring you with me. I wanna bring you with us. So we've got some major checkpoints to hit before we can actually bring this thing to life. And, <laughs> And the biggest one being our roller set process for multiple hair types. Save yourself time. Yeah. Yeah. This whole section. I actually brought in my friend who has such beautiful hair into the salon because we needed somebody with a totally different hair texture than me to test this process out on. So we brainstormed, we trained our stylist up a little bit, cocktailed some products together, and then realized we still had some work to do.
Now, yes, my friend slash model loved her hair. She really did. She said it first, she kept saying it after, and even though we were glad that she was happy with her results, me and Rosemary knew we could do better. And as I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos of y'all trying to attempt a roller set on 4C or more textured, kinky, coily hair, we were all coming into the same issue, which was after rolling and setting the hair in the rollers, how do we get from the roller takedown to a beautifully smooth, result that doesn't revert. And so we've been talking and chatting and conspiring ever since this day because we are determined to find the right product combination to really ensure that no matter what your hair texture is, we can make it happen for you. And the idea is to just do this part right now. Like all we're doing is worrying about this part right now. And so on this journey, I'm going to share the different checkpoints that we hit <laughs> in order to make this thing happen. So stay tuned with us, keep following. And if you are in Dallas, Texas, the Dallas Fort Worth area, and you want in on what we're working on, fill out the form down below and I'll shoot you an email first when the final details of the plan comes out. Because it's gonna be limited space, y'all. It's gonna be limited space. So if you wanna be in that room, if you wanna be in that salon, Go ahead and click that form down below, put in your information, and you'll be the first to know about it.